We came so far from dreams. The path was hard for me. They thought we fall, you see. Well, look at us now, look at us now. We make it high, but we on the scene. Yeah, that's a thousand degrees. I got a grind for me and my team. Yeah, you know we gon' win. We see the clouds when we come around. You know that I roll with some kids. We sit it down, I don't hear a sound, but I ain't. Tell me who better than we We saw in the places you never could reach When we walk in that spot, don't hear none of you speak Shh, do you want peace or the peace? A king about to put you to sleep Listen, my team is elite You not even qualified to compete He's starving, he barely can eat I guess that's why he always itching for beef So I put him on ice and I told him to chill Close your mouth if you can't pay for the meal Making statements that you know you don't mean Nice guy trying to act like he mean Keep it a buck, keep it a bean Attitudes will put you dudes in a beam Isakai, he don't live in reality Shake back off a cup of fatality Law yeah, how you gon' hate when you mirror us? He think he a star, he ain't serious. X him out, we not on the same frequency. If you broke, you ain't hearing us. Work the screw, anime, that's how I feel, period. We winning, that's making them furious. We make it high when we on the scene, yeah, that's a thousand degrees. I got a grind for me and my team, yeah, you know we gon' win. We see the clowns when we come around, you know that I roll with some kids. We sit it down, I don't hear a sound, but I ain't Yo, what did you guys? It is your boy, Leo Muki here, back to you with another new part of What If Asta Can Summon Epic Heroes. This is part four, and it's been a while since I last updated for this series. Basically five months, if I recall, so yeah. And I'm not too surprised. My Black Clover What Ifs don't even get as much traction like they used to, which is not too surprising. Black Clover... Black Clover is reaching its final arc, but unlike with me basically hyped for that of MHA's final arc, Black Clover's is kind of started to bore me, to be honest. I'll still keep on doing Black Clover What Is, but not as much as I used to. And I'm mainly preparing to do that of, fa that of, well, fairy tale What Is in the future, to be honest. Not many, but at least a few. So yeah, at any rate, go to that of a quick recap. Asta, you know, and Asta's contracted heroes have arrived at the Noble Realm, the, lo the t part of the Clover Kingdom territories that involves the Clover Kingdom capital, where they'll be taking part in that of the N Magic Knight exam, with Asta and a few uh, and a few of his heroes basically excited and basic and also enjoying the look of the Clover Kingdom, some not so much. Well, some kind of realize that if uh, that the exam that they have no idea what the exam holds for them, even if they'll even be able to even help Asta throughout the exam. Because of this, a few of his heroes, mainly that of Shiri, Karin, Tyr, and Angelica, basically staying out of this. However, Mercedes and Senya, on the other hand, re refuse to abandon Asta for the exam, which turns out to be quite funny, to be honest. Even so, just like in canon, none of the captains basically raised their hands until Yami, the captain of the Black Bulls, wanted to see Asta's resolve. However, his resolve isn't just his own, but it's also his hero's resolves as well. As now, Asta is a member of the Black Bulls. So, with all that said, let's get into this, shall we guys? Flying right through that of the portal, being Asta... As he was soon sent, as on the other side, he was sent flying by Yami, who basically threw him through that of Fenro's portal, magic portal, with the others basically getting through. As Tyr could up and say, Asta, are you okay? Damn him. With then, Shuri saying, eh, doesn't look like he has any broken bones. With Angelica saying, not all just to be sure, as she tries to use that of her magic to heal. See if Asta has any serious wounds, to realizing, oh, good, he doesn't. With even that of Senya and Mercedes worrying over that of Asta too. With then soon, Yami alongside that of Gordon Finral, and last but not least, Karin coming through the portal. With then soon, Karin saying, was that truly really necessary? Giving a deadpan look to that of Yami. But then, Yami not even phased by that of the katana-wielding Ravenette. But then Yami shoving, basically shugging his shoulder, saying, 
Uh, we're in a tight schedule here. Want the, want the kid to understand and meet his new comrades, after all. With them soon. Yami saying, speaking of, welcome to the hideout of the Black Bulls. With then soon, all the others basically looking up. With some couldn't help but look completely and utterly dumbfounded. While some looking completely confused as hell. And Asta, on the other hand, basically looking so looking like having stars in his eyes. Looking at that of the misshaped, somewhat weirdly symmetrical, and basically completely creeped out Black Bull's hideout for the worst Magic Knight squad. With then soon, Sherry saying, The hell is this place? It looks like a dump. With then soon, with Tear looking, Is this place even safe to be living in? It almost looks like it will basically crumble on us just by stepping inside. But then Angelica also saying, um, are you sure this is, are you sure this is what you're going to be seeing as our base from now on? Or is there not any other, well, with then soon, Yami saying, you guys got a problem with your new home? With then soon, giving off that of killing intent as they all get on guard. With then, Asta saying, this place looks so cool. Oh man, I'm excited. With then. Soon, Fineral basically going over saying, ah, hope he says that now. With then, as they getting closer and closer to the building, with then Sen Senya basically asking her fellow epic heroes, with then saying, are you we sure that we should be staying here? I'll take my chances basically li living outside or camping than this place. With Sherry saying, I'm gonna have to agree with that of the air-headed dragon knight here. No way in hell we should go in a place like this. With then, Senya nodding her head before realizing what Shuri said, saying, Hey! With then, soon, Karin saying, Oh, come on now, guys. Be reasonable. Just, be just because on the outside it looks like, well, it had better days, doesn't mean on the inside we should. With then, as soon as they t walk up the steps on the right side of the building, uh, soon a blast of fire re basically goes out with each and every one of them having their eyes widening, even Shuri having his one good eye widening and shocked. Within, soon, Mercedes in that of a dead Pantone saying, is that normal? Within, both Gordon and Fenrir saying, yep. As then soon looking inside of the gaping hole, all of them couldn't help but look completely and utterly dumbfounded at what they're seeing. As they're seeing that of a black and white sp mohawk gla gl sunglasses wearing young man with that of piercings on his left ear screaming out, Damn you, Luck! How dare you take my last pudding! As the mohawk haired man couldn't help but scream this out. However, another one being that of a, ki a young man with that of, well, b blonde hair and wearing that of a black bull's robe as having that of a baggy long sleeve shirt, teal blue shirt, basically, well, flying around with using that of lightning magic, laughing, saying, oh, come on, Magna, it was the last one. You, you didn't expect me to, to eat that? Within soon, the young man known as Magna pulls out that of a fire bat. Before then, fireballs begin to appear right in front of him. From that of his grimoire, as he soon swings the fireballs as fast as he can at that of the boy known as Luck. However, each and every swing and shot he launches completely, utterly misses the blonde haired kid. However, not just them are inside in the room, as it being that of a somewhat some, a young woman with that of purple pinkish purplish hair basically lounging on the couch with that of alcohol bottles all around her not only that she also is only not even wearing barely any clothes right now as she's only just in that of her panties and bra as she looks completely and utterly hanged over hell her speech is basically even says it all with then soon seeing that of a short-haired girl with that of blood black hair, and basically tons of sheep basically rolling around her, saying, man, those two are definitely going to be exhausted when this is all over. Good thing I'm making tons of food for me and for everyone else here. As the sheep basically began making tons of food 
for every, inside of the room with then seeing ads of a somewhat big big dude in the back with that of beady white eyes and base and smoke coming out of their mouth not even as not even saying anything or it almost sounds like that of a grunt with then soon that of a last one a last young man with that of purplish hair looking at that of a photo that of a photo of a little girl in his hand saying, my dear beloved little sister Marie, don't worry big brother, we'll see you soon. And now getting a better look at Asta's newest squad mates being part of the Black Bulls. As Asta looking completely and utterly dumbfounded, both with that of shock and also in that of excitement. However, his heroes on the other hand, let's just say all of them have their own preferences of the Black Bulls for that of, well, Mercedes case, she's saying they look nice with Sydney saying, wow, when they said the worst squad, I was expecting something worse. This is actually quite tamed. Shuri's saying, hey, Asta, is it too late to basically choose a different squad or try again for next year instead of this? With Tear thinking, ah, such unruly kids, but... It's to be expected when you say the worst of the worst. After all, Shuri, with that of the one-eyed marksman couldn't help but roll his good eye and still annoyed at the fact of, well, what's in front of him. Angelica, on the other hand, couldn't help but think, this is unnatural. Such unruly behavior and such disorder. How, Captain Yami, how do you keep them in line? With then, Yami saying, I'll show you. With then, Karin can help but say, well, he is a captain. It only makes sense that he'd be able to get a disorderly bunch like this in with then soon. Finn roll base is saying three, two, one. Karin confused, looking at that of the brunette haired no nobleman spatial mage. Within Yami saying, Will you all shut the hell up? Within soon, everybody hearing that of the intense voice from that of their, well, muscular black haired captain. Within the Mohawk. And glasses wearing mage known as Magna could have said, Captain Yami, you're back. But then Luck also going down to that of Yami saying, Hey, Captain, you're back. Can we have that fight now? I'm excited. But then the woman that was still laid down in that of bra and panties, Vanessa, walking up to that of her captain saying, Hey, Captain, good to have you back here. We'll care for a drink. As she having that of a bo bottle of alcohol in her hands. Offering up to that of Yami, within the young, the young woman, down, the small young woman with all the sheep, Charmy saying, Captain, I made tons of food for you in case that you were got hungry when you came back. Want some? There's plenty to go around. As then Ghost goes up to Yami saying, Captain, I was wondering if I could have a day off to go see my, my precious sister Marie, if it's not too much to ask. With Ben, Yami saying, Wow, you guys really did miss your captain. <laughs> now all shut the hell up. I got something to say. But then, after saying that, everybody soon quiets down and listens to what Yami has to say. But then saying, now we got some new recruits. Or recruits, I should say. With then, everybody basically flinching and looking over to that of the... Wall, seeing that of Asta alongside his epic heroes, with Asta feeling nervous, waving his hand, saying, uh, hi. With Mercedes also greeting them too, bowing her head. But then, even that of Senya also saying hello to everybody. With even Karin basically also bow, giving that of a traditional Japanese bow. And that of greeting, even Angelica basically greets them too with a hello. And and wondering how they're all doing, even though she just saw a little while ago what they were doing. As Tyr couldn't help but just stand in place, wondering what they're going to say, with even that of Shuri just basically waving, not even with that of a bored expression on his face. But then Maya saying, holy cow, we got so many new members just on the first day? Normally we don't even get this many new members so, so much. With then Sue. Luck actually couldn't help but have that of eyes of pure, utter joy. You could even see that of the stars in his eyes, like that of Asta, as saying, they're all so strong. Just looking at them, I can sense their mana levels. They're so awesome. I want to fight them. 
I want to fight him so bad. As lightning begins to crackle all across Luck's body, with even Vanessa could feel their magic saying, now this is insane. I've heard normal people like them should be with that of the Golden Dawn or possibly even that of the Silver Eagles or maybe in the Cri Crimson Lions. Why the heck are they with us of all people? Luck, I can understand, because it's luck. Ghost, same thing goes with that, given he's a former criminal. But these guys, just by looking at them, they're so strong. Not only that, I don't even, on them, I don't even see that of a single grimoire, and yet, I can already feel this immense amount of magic on them. What the heck did Captain Yami do to get these guys? Within, Yami's saying, oh, right, the, all those six guys, they're not really... They're not really people, actually. They're kind of contracting spirits. The one that's basically our newest member, officially, is him. With then, pointing at that of Asta, still a little bit nervous. But then soon, all of them can help but be completely and utterly shocked and dumbfounded. With then, Yami saying, yo, runt, introduce yourself. Saying, uh, right, Captain. With then saying, my name is Asta. I'm 15 years old, and I'm from Hodge Village. I, and I would then saying, you don't need to give out your old life story. You can basically tell them afterwards. So, yeah. At any rate, if you excuse me, I'm going to be going and take a shit. With then saying, you all play nice now. As Yami basically go, leaves that of the room. With then soon, Tear saying, this is what we chose. <sighs> I'm already regretting this quite a bit. With then soon, Karin saying, I must agree with you on that, Miss Tear. But this is what Asta chose. And like we said, we plan on helping him become Wizard King, even from the very bottom. With then, Sherry can help but scratch the back of his head saying, ugh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. As they all actually fully step inside of that of the, well, HQ. With then, Sue, Magnus saying, you guys are supposed to be like spirit familiars or whatever. Within Mercedes, speaking up, saying, "Yes, we are actually. We're ba we're actually contracted individuals from other from another world. If that makes things easier." With then soon, Luck saying, "I don't know what that is, but you guys are so strong. You don't mind if we could fight?" With then soon, Tear alongside that of Senya actually are on guard around that of Luck, as even though he has that of a well. Sweet, innocent little, sweet, innocent look to him. He actually is radiating that of battle aura and bloodlust. Even Shuri, that doesn't can't actually feel the bloodlust. He could still feel that of the immense mana coming off of Luck. Same thing also goes for Ghosh as well. Mainly through that of his special eye, through that of his eye patch, actually. But then, as th as this isn't the first time, he felt it with that of Yuno as well. But then thinking, this is insane. First you know, now these two guys? And not just him, but also that Vengeance captain from the Golden Dawn, that Yuno joint too. These guys have huge reserves of magic and mana basically inside their body, but it feels foreign. Huh. I better probably tell the others about this when I can. But it doesn't look like it's dangerous, but still unnatural. Especially given everybody else. Even the Captain Yami had a huge amount, but not on the left, but not foreign. It felt natural to him. And I should probably tell the others about this when I get the chance. Before then, Shuri sighing, saying, Listen, kid, I'm not a battle maniac. If you want to fight them, go ahead, but leave me out of this. As Shuri basically walks off, heading to the very couch where all the booze is, where Vanessa was at. As then, soon, Senya saying, uh, you're no fun, Shuri, saying, not trying to be. With then, Asta saying, uh, sorry about them. <laughs> He's always been like that. With then, soon, Magna getting a better look at that of Asta, as he's basically appraising him, saying, <laughs> to think that Captain Yami took an interest in you, it, it totally understandable given these guys. I mean, look at them, they look so cool. With then, basically gazing at that of Mercedes, as she couldn't help but smile, but it was a nervous one. But then soon, Asa saying, yeah, I mean, 
I got to be, I had some way to impress Captain Yami before then noticing that of Magna's black bull robe. With then Magna noticing this thing, oh, you interested in the robe? But then Asa couldn't help but grin saying, yeah, it's so cool. When do I get one? With then Sue, Magna can help but say, ah, uh, uh, not just yet. You gotta earn it. With then saying, wait, earn it? Saying, yeah, you heard me. You gotta earn this robe. With then a few of Asta's heroes couldn't help but raise an eyebrow, mainly that of, well, Tyr and Karin. With then Sue, saying, so Asa hasn't earned his place here in the Black Bulls? It isn't just the captain alone that's deciding this? With then, suit, Magna was about to continue before then, Finral coming up saying, well, technically, yeah, Captain Yami can choose on whoever he wants to be part of the Black Bulls. This is more of a somewhat initiation in a way. As Finral says this was scratching the back of his head and that of somewhat well, embarrassment and that of annoyance, actually. With Karin saying, initiation? You mean like a tradition to welcome new members? But then Vanessa, now fully actually dressed, as she also, as she has that of a, well, tight, a cor that of a corset under her that covered, that made sure to cover that of her, well, body after all, with that of a long, dre long skirt and also high boot high knee boots as well and she also having that of a witch's hat on her head within showing that of her black bull's robe on her too within saying more or less actually so honestly magna's the only one that basically implores this we don't really care that much within too luck vanessa saying well there's also luck too as luck basically continues looking at the heroes what still wanting to basically fight them with then soon, I sing. So I need to prove myself to get a Magic Knight's robe? Then fine, I'll prove it. Come on, let's do this right here and now. With then, Magna trying to show that of a sign of wisdom and that of, well, authority, given that he's a senior member of the Black Bulls, even though he's a low ranking member that hasn't even ranked up once, placing his hand in front of that of Asta saying, hold there, that of young newbie. If you really want this robe, like I said, you had to prepare for your baptism. So, you re so come to the training grounds and you'll see what you need to do. With then soon, Asta basically getting excited, looking forward to basically showing what he's capable of. With then soon, Tyr saying, you sure you wanna do this Asta? Honestly, just as they said, it's not really, you don't really need to do it. You're already a member. You can just ask for your robe instead of doing all this. With then Sue, Asta looking at Tyr saying, I appreciate the concern Tyr, but I want to prove what I'm capable of. It's my first step of showing that I'm not somebody, to that I'm not going to be some dead weight after all. I want to show that I am capable to hold my own with them. With then soon, Shuri saying, uh, always so enthusiastic about this shit. Well, whatever. Do what you gotta do. I'll be staying here and relaxing. As having his hands behind his head and his and his legs crossed, he basically leans back on that the sofa with then soon us saying, I guess it kinda makes sense. He has been a little bit, well, cranky with then soon. Karin saying, Shuri and I have been to places that are a lot more well developed and being at Hodge Village and also camping and not being able to fully relax. I think it kind of makes sense that he needs to take a break, Asta. At least allow him. If you like, I could basically stay here to look after him to make sure he doesn't get in any trouble. Within saying, thanks, Karin. Good to know that you're always the responsible one here. Within soon, Tear, even though she normally always has that of a stoic look to her face, you could actually see a little bit of her eyebrow twitching from that comment from Asta. But wanting to still keep the idea of her being the more mature one, she still basically walks off. With then everyone else also walking off too. With then soon, they reach that of an open field training grounds with basically tons of fuck that, that of, well, torches lighting up the entire area given that 
the Magic Knight exam took a pretty long time for it to finally come to an end. So it's now basically early evening with then Sue Magnus saying, all right, well, it's time to show me what you can do, newbie. With then Asta having that of a cocky and somewhat excitable smile. Before then, Mercedes floating over to that of Asta saying, uh, Master Asta, are you sure that you want to do this yourself? If you would like, I can sing. Thanks for your help, Mercedes. But I got this. I show you what I'm capable of. With then soon, Mercedes feeling somewhat down, saying, "Oh, okay." As soon as she was about to fly away, before Asta basically patting her on her head, with her basically blushing, saying, "Thanks for always looking out for me. Really appreciate it." As then. Mercedes can help but have that of a blushing smile and that of, a, of happiness and joy being acknowledged by the man she, tr she actually has fallen for, even though homunculus like her shouldn't have feelings or emotions. Within, Angelica screaming, if anything goes bad, I'll make sure to heal you guys. Just please don't do anything stupid. With then soon, Fenro saying, Magna, not doing anything stupid. That's kind of, well, hard to say with then even that of, well, Senya can help but say, and Asta not doing anything stupid. That's also a hard thing for us to believe that would happen. You should be prepared for somebody getting hurt, Angelica. Just hope that it's not Asta though. But then Angelica couldn't help but sigh saying, oh, oh Gloria, oh great goddess above. Please give me strength. All right, let's see what you can do. With then soon, Magna bringing out that of his grimoire as the fiery aura around it begins to glow. With then soon, Magna pulling out that of his fiery bat. With then, as he soon points it straight at that of Asta. With then Asta getting somewhat excited, having a huge grin on his face, bringing out his demon slayer sword as the massive cross guard sword double-edged sword basically comes out of the anti-magic grimoire within seeing that the magic of the massive anti-magic blade he soon points it straight at that of magna too within soon luck couldn't help but say huh i don't sense any magic coming from that sword or even the grimoire or even asta is he completely magicless with then Vanessa saying, it seems he is, but why is within soon? Senya speaking, saying, oh, that's because Asta doesn't have magic at all. Within, all of them couldn't help but be completely caught off guard. Within soon, Mercedes saying, correct. Master Asta has no brand of magic whatsoever, except the Book of the Covenant, which is his second grimoire, if you can see. Within... All of them noticing, within soon, even Ghost saying, that's, that's pretty damn impossible. Nobody, it's impossible to have that of more than two, one grimoire. With then soon, Tyr saying, and yet, Asta is able to use the grimoire that's allowed, that allows him to summon people like us to his world. He may seem magicless to all of you, but to be, be being able to be capable and chosen for the Book of the Covenant, which means he is worthy for something great in the future. And if that is to become Wizard King of the Clover Kingdom, then so be it, then, the, then it's our duty to aid him after all. With, and, if, and he'll pass this just, just as anything else. With then soon, Fidel saying, as much as I thought it was crazy as well, I think the guy could actually do it. Besides them, pointing at all of Asta's, well, heroes, the guy was able to basically beat that of a guy with that of bronze creation magic, break through his entire shield with that weird sword, and even kick him into the wall so fast that nope, that barely anybody could react. I'm pretty sure even half the captains had a hard time keeping an eye with him. Within hearing that, Ghosh even spoke up saying, yes, most definitely Asta is going to be a capable magic knight. The Black Bulls should be honored to have somebody of his caliber a part of us. 
with then. However, Gordon says all this while whisp while basically whispering within Tyr saying, I if you all can't hear what he's saying, I can tell you what he's saying. He's saying that Asta is a capable magic knight and, we sh and you all should be lucky to have somebody like him. And it's not my words, it's his. But then soon, Gordon, basically looking at that of Tyr and that of complete and total shock as the makeup wearing poison mage can help but be completely shocked that somebody could hear him. With Tyr looking back at that of the cap slash makeup wearing poison mage. But then saying, don't be too surprised. I have good hearing after all. With Gordon, as if you could see through that of his, well, pale makeup face, he can help but blush before then saying, thank you for he hearing me. To think a beautiful lady could, like her could actually hear what I'm saying. With then, Tyr hearing the compliment from that of Gordon, calling her beautiful as not even, as honestly, the others alongside that of Asta don't know that Tyr has one little weakness. If anybody that calls her beautiful, pretty, or basically gorgeous, she basically blushes like crazy. You wouldn't think that a half-elf woman like her would have a weakness like that, but best to keep it secretive after all. And let's just say her glances towards Gordon aren't, are still pretty subtle that people didn't even notice, especially with her cheeks basically heating up too. However, Angelica noticed this and she couldn't help but, well, smile to herself but not say anything. As of course, since she is still that of a young, a young lady, She's she couldn't help but her her internal little girl senses couldn't help but giggle to herself for a bit before and soon back with that of Magna and Asta with then Magna having that of a toothy grin couldn't help say I hope you're ready newbie because I'm giving it my all with then soon that of a massive fireball that almost looks in the shape of that of a baseball however it's still much burning as even Asta taking that of a quick stance. It's so right with one foot forward, one foot back, both both hands on that of his anti-magic sword. Within, he went from that of being somewhat happy and excited to being more calm, rash, and a lot more perceptive. With they could even feel the shift in the air from Asta now. With then even those in the Black Bull could actually feel the shift too. With Yami basically walking up, could feel that shift too, saying, oh, just like I felt back in the Magic Knight exam. If anything, Kid's got a switch when he's in combat. Did make the good choice of asking this kid to join me. As Yami couldn't help but smirk with that of a cigarette in his mouth. With then soon, Magna sending that of his fire magic, fiery death ball. As then he he toss he keeps the fire up in the air, but with that of one solitary powerful swing, he sends that of the medium sized fireball straight for Asta. With then the fireball moving quite quickly, however, to Asta the fireball was moving that in a regular speed, so regular speed, not even slow, not even fast, just. The same kind of speed which you would see from that of a regular baseball, actually. With that of the serious and more calm and rash look on his face. With then taking one step. With then slamming that of the Demon Slayer Sword right into that of the fireball. With all of his might, he soon sends it flying straight back at Magna. Without warning, Asta soon rushes straight towards that of Magna as well. Right behind that of the fireball, within Magna's eyes widening behind his sunglasses, as he couldn't help but swing his fireball, swing his fire bat straight at the fireball sent flying back at him, as it get go, flies straight up high up into the air, and explodes almost like that of fireworks. Within Magna couldn't help but smirk, saying, "Now that's something." As looking quite shocked, terrified, and surprised. As the massive cross guard sword is pointing right at Magna's throat. Within, as Asta couldn't help but have that of a cocky smile saying, So, did I pass and prove myself, Mr. Magna? 
within hearing that. However, all the other Black Bulls members couldn't help but be completely and utterly shocked on how fast he was, except that of Finro and Gordon and Yami. However, a certain other somebody behind that of Yami, actually, being that of a girl with that of silver hair and pigtails, and she also having to have a Black Bulls robe on, couldn't help but look completely and utterly shocked and stumped on how fast Asta was, as her mouth is basically gaping open with then soon. Asta removing that of his anti-magic sword from Magna's throat before putting on his shoulder saying, so how'd I do? With then saying, ha, 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 you are one crazy son of a bitch, you know that? And I, and I think you're definitely going to fit in here. Welcome to the Black Bulls, Asta. With Asta putting away the Demon Slayer sword and couldn't help but have that of a big goofy smile saying, hell yeah. I promise, I won't let you guys down, no matter what. With then soon, that Vanessa bringing out that of her grimoire as being that of string magic. With then, she begins to make that of a black bull's robe for Asta. With not only that, she even puts that of the black bull's logo on his headband as well. With then, she's saying, well, you have to look the part for a black bull's and represent us. So, of course, it fits you. But then, I sang thanks. But then soon, she also creates that of several other Black Bulls robes, but not just for that of Asta, but also for Mercedes, Senya, Tyr, and also Angelica. Even made that of two more for that of Karin and Shuri back at the base after all. But then, Marseille saying, we also get Black Bulls robes, but we're within soon. Fenrir saying, uh, even though you guys are familiar as you say you are, you're still members of the Black Bulls, so you gotta represent us, right? With then, soon, Tyr saying, I guess it makes sense. If, if anything, I, I am honored. Normally, I wander lands basically doing, doing jobs, so there might be times I may not be around. Sorry, Asta. With then, Asta saying, it's okay, Tyr. If anything, you working... If you're basically going to be wandering around helping out around the Clover Kingdom, you'll be representing the Black Bulls even more. With then, soon, to your saying, I appreciate that. And I promise not to live up to the name of the Black Bulls, but make it better. Because with then, soon, Angelica saying, as much as I appreciate it too, I agree with Tyr. But being part of the worst Magic Knight squad is kind of... It's kind of a puts a bad reputation for us. So I think it may be good that she's basically doing think, jobs for around that Clover Kingdom besides just us. With then soon, the others couldn't help but scratch the back of their head and couldn't help but agree with the two epic heroes' criticism for them. With then soon, Mercedes alongside Senya walking over to Asta saying, ah, Master Asta, look, we match now as she couldn't help but flaunt that of her Black Bulls robe, which also accentuate other things too, making Asta blush a bit, say, yeah, totally, we do match. With Asta confused why he's acting like this in front of Mercedes, as the only time he's acted like this was in front of that of Sister Lily, with then Yami saying, so, got the whole baptism out of the way? With then soon, Magma saying, yep, Captain Yami, we did it. With then soon, Luck saying, and if that's out of the way, you'd think I could. With then, all of the girls there couldn't help but say, no. With then, Sunny saying, maybe another time though, but not now. With then, Luck almost looking like that of a kicked puppy, which looks so goddamn wrong on Luck of all things. With then, Angelica saying, well, it looks like I wasn't needed to be healed or anything. I thank the goddess for such things. With then soon, Noticing somebody behind that of Yami. Within saying, um, Captain Yami? Within saying, uh, yeah, you, priest girl. What is it? Oh, well, my name's Angelica, actually. Within saying, probably won't remember your name too long. Saying, huh, understood. I just wanted to ask, who was she behind you? Within suit. Everybody noticing that? Oh, the silver haired girl from earlier. Within soon, Yami saying, oh, yeah. Say hello to no. This is Noel. 
She's also a newbie, just like you, Runt. Try and get along with her, will ya? Within, soon. Everybody, within Magnus saying, yeah, she actually joined about yesterday. So, she just, even though she should have taken part of her baptism. Within, soon. Noel saying, <laughs> like I need to do something so immature and pathetic. I am, a, I am a royal of all things. Royals don't need to take part in something so barbaric. With them soon, both that of Tyr and also Senya, and even that of Angelica, can already tell that even Mercedes, given that she was when she was in the world of Orbis, after all, as they all had one singular thought, oh God, she's a noble or possibly royalty, as their time in the Black Bulls are is just getting started. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Love to read them. So, how did you guys like this part? I'm aware that this isn't going to get me a lot of traction and views, but even so, I still love doing my what if content, even, even if what if content is starting to fade off from YouTube lately now. A little bit of a heads up though, new Black Clover what ifs will be coming out in the coming of days, so be prepared for that too. At any rate, with all that said, if you guys like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to keep to date my videos all below the channel. Also, please check out my Discord, gaming channel, other channel, side channel, Patreon, and Cash App. All link in description below. So, with all that said, this is Leon Mookie signing out. Later, guys, and hope you all take care. Do your thing, Shiro. Hi, everyone. This is White Fox. If you like Leon's video, Click the video on the left to see the most recent one. And if you want to see more of this, click the subscribe button and notification bell and check out his playlist. If you still haven't subscribed, do so in the center. With that said, I hope to see you again on my love's channel. Bye!